Hello everyone, welcome back to the land of Italy. As you can see, this is... Well, I guess maybe you can't see, but we'll have a look. I'm still on this map. I've spent two, three days now trying to get uh, land of Italy 2 up and running. But um, I've just I've run into some problems, such as the Clover and Alpha Alpha, for whatever reason. I, um, I'm trying to chop them with um, the... Um, grass chopper, for instance, on the Fort Schritt, and also on the Big X. Neither one of them are handling that very well. What am I doing here? Let's get stirred. Um, yeah, so they're not handling that well. Uh, they, the machines keep shutting off on me. I don't know what's wrong, and then I, you know, I'm trying to get something out here for you guys for tomorrow, and I have nothing yet unless I do this. Uh, I'm, I'm looking at the date, seeing that it's you know two weeks till our uh, Farms in 15 comes out. And I think at this point I'm going to continue on with Land of Italy version whatever this is and uh, and skip version 2. And we had some benefits like for instance right now I probably couldn't work because it would be too dark. Um, really it's a small, uh, that's such a small thing to, uh, to start a whole new, basically a whole new series on just for that. So I'm not going to. Now what I'm doing here is spraying the wheat with a pesticide, which um, hopefully I'm making the right decision doing so. I guess we shall see. Uh, we're just still exploring this soil mod, so we're going to spray this, and then I will probably skip ahead. You can see there's lots of weeds through here, so I'm going to skip ahead and. Um, and we'll start the uh, start a fresh new day after I've done this. But I have not shown spraying the herbicide yet, so I figured I'd show you guys that. Ooh, it's just like spraying fertilizer, except it has a little bee on the side over there and a little spray bottle. I actually use one of those sprayers. Uh, that's um, the picture on the right is actually a herbicide sprayer. I use one of those to spray my deck. I um, load it up with. Uh, a deck stain and then spray it around and then use a brush to brush it in. All the neat little things you can do with tools once you put your mind to it you can come up with new new ideas for it and that's one thing I did. Yeah okay what's that got to do with farming? Absolutely nothing. So yeah I'm kinda disappointed with that. Uh, the land of Italy too there's just yeah the changes just aren't are not warranting the extra effort and it is a lot, a lot of effort to get this back up and running, and I just, I just gave up on it. I, uh, I simply don't have the time to put into it that I want to. So, I want to continue on. Like I, um, I haven't played much Seven Days to Die because I've been trying to get that map going. And um, a friend of mine I play Civ with, I've been brushing him off, saying sorry, I got to work on my series, and I just, you know, I've had enough. Anyway, so we will continue on with this. I know some of you were interested in continuing on with this, so you got your wish, whether I wanted that or not. <laughs> um, yeah, so there you have it. That's where we are. It's a world according to Garp, except uh, my name is not Garp, and he would not be talking about Firm Sim. But anyway, right, man has had too much caffeine and sugar, maybe? Yeah, that could be the case. So. Well, what else can we chat about? Uh, what else have we got on the go? I uploaded a Dirt 3, and that's a racing game. I uploaded that video um, yesterday, I believe. And I just need to... I haven't even touched that again. I've been farm simming away, so... Um, did a recording today, farm sim co-op. Had a whole big gang there. Unfortunately, Fad can't make it on the uh, our Thursday recording times, but we were there with... Uh, we had... Um, Toby Moby and uh, Beavis and Serenar and Iron Brew and so the five of us got working away and and uh, after the recording um, uh, Serenar had to leave us and we four just kept going we ended up doing a bunch of off-screen work that needed to be done so that was pretty productive uh, so pretty much all afternoon and evening I've been playing Farmson anyway looking forward to Farmson 15 I sure hope they've fix like the hay bales and wool pallets and all the other crazy physics things. Gosh knows what we're going to end up with, flying tractors or something, but we'll see. Two more weeks. Two more weeks. Are you excited? I'm excited. 
Alright, what else? Oh, yeah, on the land of Italy, one thing I noticed the uh, with the version 2 was we had some decent storage space. So um, that was kind of nice, but I've got placeable halls and stuff in this, so I think what I'll do is just take one of these fields and put a bunch of halls on it to store my equipment. Um, what else? There was something... Oh, they f uh, they fixed the milk truck, so that wasn't going constantly. I think I only saw the milk truck once, so that was kind of a treat. Um, that's the, uh, there was some, a bunch of other smaller stuff that I can't even think of right now. Um, alfalfa and clover was added to it, and then I just had problems with that, uh, those two crops, trying to harvest them, so... Yeah, and I just kind of... It's a cover crop, and I'm not sure if I was even supposed to be harvesting them, but... Wow, I... <laughs> I went and I harvested half of... Well, let's look at the map here. This field right here, whatever field number that is, I forget. I harvested about from here over to this way and that was about 1.2 million units of silage so yeah that was gonna be insane to unload and um, oh this new um, loader that I've got down at the biogas plant I figured out how to work the tipper thanks to uh, one of you guys oh man I should have written your name down but anyway you know who you are and thank you very much I appreciate your your comment to help me out there and uh, so I will show that in a moment, actually, just just for reasons. Where do I put this thing? I don't remember. Um, this looks like a good spot. Yeah. We're just going to park it right here, right in the way. I don't want to put it over around the corner there, because that'll be in the way for the seeds. We'll just put this in here. Okay, so yeah, next I want to skip ahead to the mooring, and we're going to do some logging. Does that sound exciting? It should, because wow, we have not done very much of that. I think I—I uh, I don't think I even cleaned up the the logs lying down there in front of the sawmill, so I'll have to take care of that. Oh, you'll have noticed my money. Um, oh my God, Hitman cheated. Yes, yes, I did, but there was a reason for that. Uh, I've installed the. Um, geez, look at all this lights. Oh, something shiny. Hitman got distracted. I installed the BGA extension. Uh, I've been watching, uh, I watched Kara and Beavis, they did a video on it, on Kara's BGA, um, or his uh, Let's Play on New York, New York Farms, I can't remember what it's called, the, the biogas map. And uh, Beavis has started making videos showing how to use it, so I'm all keen to give that a try. So let's do a little zip -a doodle over there. Here's that loader, you can lift it right up, and then if you watch carefully, See that? See how that tips forward? So once you lift that up high enough, oh well, I guess I have to pull it forward here or else I hit the top here. Let's just move forward. So yeah, if you have that tipped up like this, full of silage, look at that. Look at that high tip. Isn't that something? Giggity gee. Alright, so we'll just back this back in. Uh, so yeah, that high tip could come in handy, possibly, maybe. don't recall what I needed it for, but I do, so there. I, I noticed the weight of this is like ridiculously light. Um, forget pressing silage with it. So I did get a mod. I don't know if I've installed it yet, but a mod for pressing the silage. So I will be installing that, and then I'll just stick it on the tractor to use. As you can see, we have 93,000 units of this left. Now let's go over here and should we load the BGA now or go do? Well, you know what? Let's try and do both. So. Project the plant size 100%. Buy and start up. Okay, so it says increase and decrease plant size. by page up and page down. See? It makes it cheaper, but uh, I think in the long run. Yep, see, look at that. Don't want that one. But this is the one we want, so that's why I added 240,000 just to buy this since I'm already using biogas. And I think what I'll do is. Once I've made the money back, I'm just going to treat it as a loan. So when I make the money back, I'm just going to cheat that back out. If you can call that cheating by removing your money, but that's what I'm going to do. So we're getting an extra loan from the loan shark down the road, and maybe we'll pay back a little more than 240000 We'll make that decision at that time. Uh, but I do want to, if I wanted to wait and make all that, you know, I, I would kind of like to move the series forward, and the only way to do that is by doing it this way. So there. Plus, I did all that work the last couple of days making money and then can't even use it, so there. That's my reasons. 
Whether they're good enough reasons or not, they're good enough for me, and that's what matters in the end of the day. So I'm the one playing the game and enjoying it or not, so I, I do want to, and I do enjoy it, so, so, so there. Oh, Hitman, you've had too much sugar and caffeine. You're on a sugar high. Yes, yes I am. Alright, so we're gonna go back here and read the thingy doofer. Um, where do you put, I wonder where you put this, this slurry into this beastie. I assume the same spot. I don't know. I should ask the beavis. He's the master. Alright, so here we go. Let's have a look at this. Um, Increasing and decreasing the feeding rate, that is how fast it will pull the fuel out of this bunker in front of me, this, this um, what do you call it? Yeah, okay, bunker. And um, so total solids in the feed bunker, 30%. Total solids in fermenter, 7 point. So what it would do is the fermenter, it, it pulls it, this is the feed bunker, and it pulls it into the fermenter, which is, I don't know, somewhere around here. I guess these are fermenters, I would imagine. So what uh, what this page up and page down does is controls how fast it pulls the stuff out of this and the faster it pulls out of course the more it's processing so um, I think the more power you'll may uh, you'll produce up to a point so let's dump this in oh, oh we should use our oh look at that high tip look at it oh wow that dumps out nice and fast All right so what let's see what that has done bunker fill level zero Okay then. Hello. Nothing went in. Oh, maybe I just need more. Gee, that should have been like 10 M3, 10 meters cubed. I assume it was 10,000 liters. That's that's what the math is, as far as I know. Oh, gosh. Do we? I did I get money for it? I should have. Looks like it. So let's try that again. See what happens. Right about now, I'm probably doing it wrong, and about six of you are screaming at me, and the other, the rest of you are saying, just shaking your head, saying, oh, "Gosh, this guy's a noob." <laughs> okay then, let's see where we go. Oh, 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 don't drive in it. All right, so I did make the money, but. Okay, feeding rate 100%. So if I decrease or increase it, um, so I, I know at 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. it's supposed to run. So what does that mean? I don't know. Um, how am I going to get? How am I going to get manure here? I don't know, I actually have a transporter. I assume you. Hmm. Do I have solid manure? I don't recall. Let's have a look. Uh, manure, 3,000 liters, 4,000 liters, 2,000 liters. Okay, so I could fill this thing up with manure, I think. You just modded that it will do it. And I could stick that in there and then see what happens. But I would have thought that it would start to fill unless... Um, maybe it's filling something else as far as it's a, this is more of a buffer? I don't know. If you know, you know what to do. Use the old comments. All right, so let's see if that shows up. Well, okay then. Well, I'm not going to waste any more if I am indeed wasting it. So we're going to leave that for now, and I'm going to ask Mr. Beavis to have a look at this tomorrow and tell me what I'm doing wrong. Tomorrow being today for you guys. And I'm just going to back this back here into its home. Is this thing got? Yeah, there we go. Yep, and we can see the critters before we run over them. Turn this off. Oops. Ugh, come on. Where's all the buttons? Alright, so next we're going to... Let's go over to... Wherever we were here. <laughs> okay then. Where'd all the logs go? Did I put them all in? I don't recall. Well, I think there was one over here, so let's get this out of the way. Let's see if that was still here. Alright, well, oh, and there's the other one. I just about ran over it. Let's just chuck that on there. And turn this. Oops. 
I can't remember the controls. Oh, derps. It's derp-tastic. Alright, so let's move this around. Speaking of which, I was pretty impressed with Iron Brew. We made it through the whole episode today without derping. Impressive. Of course, he's driving a Massey, that old Massey 1200, which is about as slow as bicycles. So, well, actually slower than a bicycle. So, uh, makes it a little easier not to derp. Serenar, on the other hand, you should watch her video. I'm sure she did lots of derp. Judging by all the screaming and giggling I heard going on over there. Shenanigans. I tell you, you get that crew on and I can't control them. They're just crazy. Alright, so. Get in there. It, is that gonna. Yeah, like a pro. Uh oh. Having said that, it's just gonna launch me into space. No. Nope. Okay, so let's move down. Oh yeah, how's that for skills? I'm impressed even with myself. And modest, don't forget modest. Alright, so let's that. And then he dumps it on the ground again. We'll just pretend we don't know he's the one that had originally dumped it on the ground. Alright, so let's so we'll just park this up and I'm going to skip through till morning. That way we can at least I hope I've got all my crops ready and all that stuff. I'm not gonna worry about it. Let's um yeah, let's just park here and sleep here for the night. Alright, so what am I forgetting? I don't care. We're going forward. And here we go! Zoom, zoom, zooming. What do you think? 6 a.m.? That's a good time to get started. Don't actually need to speed it up to 120 like that, but I just do because, well, I do. That way I can go 12,120 speed. Hmm, let me see, should I, should I do this? You know what, I sh thought I, yeah, here's the Wiedemann grapple. I think the Wiedemann's over at the farm. Alright, so I better, oh, this view. I think the skid plate's okay and it's not going to hit that. So I think, um, the problems I was having on Breitheim with, um, leaving this trailer hooked up to this thing and then having it go bouncing across the field when I relogged. I think that is because the skid plate might have hit the hitch on the trailer and the ensuing train wreck um, was the problem. So maybe that might have been it. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. Let's hop out, grab chainsaw. I should come down here and just mow all this grass. Can't see what I'm doing. Oh, what if it was worth something to me? Well, let's cut it all up in small pieces. And Unamas. There we go. Get back in. Grab this. Okay, so... Hmm, I can recall that we want to kind of jackknife the trailer a little bit. To be able to grab these better. That's good enough. Alright, so let's get that fair one first. I should put that helper on again, because that really helps, but oh well. Let's do it the hurt the dirt uh, I mean the hard way. I was gonna say the derpy way, but let's not call it that. Let's call it the pro way. Oh come on, stop doing that with the view. Oh okay, that was totally not my fault. I don't know whose fault it was, but it wasn't mine. See, that is the kind of thing I'm hoping, hoping that that is solved in Farm Sim 15. Because if it's not, you're going to see uh, not as happy as you could be. It, boy, that sort of thing just bugs me. And I understand why it happens in this. I mean, the the modders here, they're not part of the Giants team. At least they weren't, I don't think, when they made this. They might be now, which would be good for them. I'm glad for them. Anyway, are you going to go in there? But yeah, I'll be kind of disappointed if, you know, that long um, armed, you know, what the heck is that thing called? I can't remember, but it has the, the part for cutting down the trees and then stripping the branches off. If that thing works as derpy as this does, Hitman's not going to be happy. Matter of fact, he's going to be downright upset. Say, so fix your stuff. I'll probably say something a little more stronger words than that, but not on the internet, because that would be bad. 
And just trying to keep this like a family show. That's what I'm trying to do. Last thing I win is some of you guys. You're uh, if you're under say 16 and you're watching this and your mom or your dad comes in and I don't want them looking at this saying you can't watch this guy. He's just listen to the, the stuff he's saying. I don't want that. I want everybody be able to watch this. Same with the comments. That's why I'm fortunate enough that I think I've only had that once with uh, some nasty things said in comments. So that person got banned right away because I am not going to tolerate that at all. And uh, so yeah, that way you guys can feel that you can say stuff and you're not going to be flamed or attacked because I'm really not interested in having that on my um, my channel and I sure, sure don't want to have to do what Dur does and moder uh, moderate all the comments. So in that respect I kind of hope I don't grow too much more because I've got a you guys are a good following and I'm enjoying talking to you in the comments so hopefully we can just keep on doing that and if you've been too shy to comment or maybe you haven't made a YouTube account I actually uh, I made this YouTube account or actually it's my other one I actually have two that are are linked but uh, I made a YouTube account after watching Stockholm and I wanted just to thank him for doing the good video so I actually made a YouTube account to be able to do that that was when I finally I first got into this. Oh, come on, get in there. Get in there. Yeah, good enough. We're not going far. Oh, yeah, I, for I forgot how slow and boring logging was. That's why some of you are saying no, but, oh well, we're not going to do much of it today. Well, not obviously not, because we're almost all, all out of time, but um, maybe next episode. I don't know. We'll have a look what else we have to do. But I, I don't want to do like more of this immediately, the whole next episode. So we might um, do some other farming and then come back to this. And I don't know. Oh, come on. You can see I've lost my skills with this. Oh, well. Oh, well. Worst thing is, in, in real life with the back, oh, I have the same problem. Well, I don't beat my trailer around because I don't have a trailer for starters, but even then I wouldn't beat it around. But... Uh, it's definitely you, you start out and you're rusty if you haven't done it in a while and I haven't used my backhoe in quite a while. I've been between not really like working on other projects, not needing it and and then being sick and all that stuff. It's been oh months since I've even run it, so gonna do a bit of maintenance on it and then get it fired up and hopefully next week I'm gonna be doing a, uh a video of the, my my Survive and Thrive series and uh, maybe show some backup stuff so if you're interested in that kind of thing well maybe you'll get to see Hitman running a backhoe in real life what do you think of that? gosh I hope he's not as derpy in it as he is in this <laughs> alright let's unload these and then I think we can have a look at the time and see how we're doing for time How many can hit me and grab? He's got two. I got two. Here you go, millwrights. There. Gonna make ships out of these lumber. What are you gonna do? I don't know. Need to come up with a backstory for what these guys are doing. It's their own, their own mill. It's a small. Uh, it's just two guys, and they're working in their sawmill here. Well, oh, not two guys. It'd be a guy and a girl. How about that? And uh, so they pool their investments, and and they've sunk everything into uh, running a little sawmill here in a partnership with this hitman guy. Well, that's not really the name he uses in his farm, though, because that would be kind of who would partner with someone named Hitman82. Anyway, so so yeah, and they've decided they've invested their money in a sawmill, and hopefully he'll keep bringing in the, these logs. Otherwise, uh, they won't make any money. So. Yeah, that's the story we're going to use. So what I need now is for you guys to come up with names with for them. Hopefully by next episode. <laughs> there you go, some homework for you. Wow, I just came up with that off the top of my head. How's that for crazy? Yeah, Hitman, you need more coffee at night. No, I do not. I have a sneaking suspicion I grabbed caffeinate instead of decaf. Alright, so we got those loaded up, and oh yeah, I forgot we're spitting out 
Oh well, we'll deal with that later. And uh, maybe I'll just pull the stuff over here because I will be using it over here some point soon, either next episode or the episode after. So we'll just pull it over here. Any grass growing here? Okay, we don't want the grass growing up into the machine. Oh, and I almost forgot to detach that because, yeah, otherwise the thing will be dancing through my farm when I log in next. Alright. Why am I hearing... <laughs> you can't hear my chainsaw running. Okay, there's just something wrong with that. Here, let's fuel it. Is it fueled? Okay, there we go. Maybe it must be because I just hopped in without putting it back in the scabbard there. It's a neat little scabbard. Looks like it's metal. Gotta be careful taking that out though, because you don't want to bend your blade. Well, actually, I don't think you would. Alright, well, I think we're going to call that an episode. So, yeah, we got our, our spraying done. Um, let's actually, I say we're going to call it an episode, but first we're going to zip over and have a look. Oh, there's my... Where the heck is my truck? I need my work truck. Alright. Oops, we'll leave this trailer. We don't need that. Why do I even have that over here? I don't know. But that's a good spot for it. If you don't mind the grass growing up through the bottom of it. So let's go over and have a look at this field and see what happened now that I sprayed it. I gotta be careful driving through there. I end up filling this thing full of weed or something. Alright, so let's see here. Okay. Um, didn't I just spray this with herbicide? Pretty sure I did. Do you have to spray it after it's mature, maybe? Well, let's have a look. Oh, look at that. It's ready for cutting. So, you know what? Next episode, we are doing the harvest of the wheat. So, we will probably do some of it with the fort shred to chew it up for... for oh, I guess, no, we don't need silage right now. What we need is grain to feed stuff and do stuffs. Oh, and we can also use grain in the biogas, but we probably will only use silage for that. We'll see. We'll see. I have to figure that all out and talk to Beavis about it and figure out how I'm going to feed this silage beast. Now you notice I'm uh, missing some tractors. I got rid of the Lamborghini. It was just kind of, I don't know, derpy. And then the same with the two little um, same explorers. Get rid of those. Unfortunately I had to get rid of the um, the Fiat Harvester. I, um, I noticed that I'm getting texture issues in that so I, I did remove that. So I need to now find a smaller harvester. I don't know if I'll use an in-game one or find a modded one. But I need something for the, um, you know, the kind of rougher field. So I already have the case, the nice big case for doing these ones. But I need something for the smaller field. So I'll have to find something there. Uh, if you have one you use on your farm, that's a favorite that is uh, medium size. I do not want a large one. And I sure don't want something like the, the you know, the cloth 770 or something. I mean, that's... Just too big for what I want to do there. So I need a medium sized harvester, so feel free to recommend one. Um, I don't really care about bells and whistles, it doesn't matter so much because I'm not in multiplayer. So um, so yeah, see if you can find a good one if you want. Uh, preferably if you can, a European one. I don't really want US when I'm in the land of Italy. Fiat would, it would be nice, but I really went searching to even find that one, so I don't imagine you're going to find one unless you you speak Italian and you search their sites. Cause Strangely enough, it seems like there's a large Italian following on their own forums, and I have not accessed that yet. Okay, anyway, babble, babble, babble on. Um, I think I'm going to wrap that up. So next episode, we'll do a harvest, and maybe cut some trees, and maybe some biogas. Until then, thank you again for joining me, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.